Hey, what's up guys? My name is Charlie. Today we're going to be reacting to some more Nostalgia Critic, and it's going to be Star Chaser. Oh boy, I don't think I've ever heard of this movie before, but I'm pretty sure it's got to be a sci-fi movie. Judging by the title, I mean Star Chaser. I mean, obviously, it's got to be about a guy chasing stars. I don't know, who knows? For crying out loud, we've seen so many bad movies at this point, I, I don't know what to expect it could be bouncing bunnies in space for crying out loud um but uh yeah star chaser self-explanatory does sound like a sky fi movie a bit like star trek or star wars i can't believe i compared those two to this but uh i don't know what to expect on this but let's uh check out the video shall we let's go <laughs> where's the nostalgia critic oh there he is <laughs> hello i'm the nostalgia critic i remember it so you don't have to sorry about all this it's just I'm really concerned because I heard you know who might be in town. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, yes. Me. I love this guy. He's awesome. He was in Care Bears. <laughs> you been working out or something? <laughs> new haircut, new wardrobe, penis enhancement. Silence. <laughs> what do you want with me, mentally demented one? My day of reckoning, critic. My day that has been coming for nearly four years. Mm. Reckoning? That little cameo of mine in your Care Bears review could only sate me for so long, Critic. A full and proper crossover is inevitable. No, oh, Jesus. You mean you... You want to do a review? <laughs> you well, I guess that's fine with me. I'll just get to the next five years. Now, Critic! <laughs> No offense, Sage, but anything having to do with you scares the shit out of me. I yeah. mean, you don't review things that are well. Sure. You are not well. <laughs> it took me a while, Critic, but I finally found the perfect movie for us to review. Oh, no, I see what you review. You're not going to make me review cops with grenades tied to their pubes or something. <laughs> yeah, Critic, probably. Have a more faith in me than that. Oh, it's oh, going to be terrible. If yeah. I showed you something in my personal collection. Personal collection, oh, kill. God. If you die, then I'd have no one to play with. Oh so boy. Oh jeez. Doesn't look that bad. Star Chaser, Star the, Chaser legend the Legend of Orin? Orin? Are you kidding? What? Must be a Star Wars. Doesn't look that bad. Oh. You're not afraid? Mm, it looks so right, the pop star. You cheese, some bland story. I yeah, try some half-decent animation. It looks kind of stupid and silly, but this doesn't look awful. No, I'm not afraid. <laughs> You will be. Oh God! Now so I'm it scared. it seems I've been shanghaied into reviewing another fossilized piece of shit that nobody mm. saw the first time it came out. Apparently, Star Chaser was released in 1985 and flopped harder than a fat guy in America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> oh come on, critic! You gotta give them credit uh, for making the best 3D movie ever made. Really? Or at least that's what they see on the poster. Yeah. Oh sure, because Bullshit. as we all know, 3D is the gatekeeper to good quality entertainment. No, it's not. Kate Winslet's nipple in 3D does have potential. So, to be fair, the movie starts out all right. Okay. I mean, the animation looks like heavy metal threw up on a Molly Hatchet album cover, <laughs> but it's harmless. Well, as harmless as forced labor in a dangerous mind can be. This is our hero, Orin, who, despite having lived his entire life in this subterranean world as a slave, still manages to have a head of finely shampooed, luxuriant hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that. What's this guy, he bad? What's up with his beautiful, flushes hair? Orin, Orin, don't. You won't survive doing the work of two. The prettiest girl in the world. I do the work of ten. Yeah, have you seen Jessica? That chick be smoking! <laughs> Oh, but you're hot, too. You're hot, too. <laughs> you have a nice tooth. <laughs> it seems that Orin and his friends are slave laborers Orin. that mine crystals for a god named Zygon. Okay, no, Zygon. No, not that Zygon. <laughs> not that Zygon, either. <laughs> this Zygon. My world are angry. It's not really loud, is he? He was expecting more demon-demonic voice. I'd be like, what? What are you saying? I can't hear you. <laughs> Just your continued subjugation. <laughs> And your free will. Really, you're taking advantage of us. <laughs> so after the slaves offer their mind crystals in exchange for food, Orin happens upon a strange sword embedded in the rock wall. Sword of the stone. Damn. What's this? What's this? Reminds me of... You will go to the Dagobah. <laughs> there you will learn from Yoda. 
Oh, I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, so not Obi-Wan says that there are <laughs> other worlds outside of the caverns, and that the wielder of the sword can free all the slaves if he is able to find the blade. So after pointlessly wrestling with another slave, Oren takes what's left of the sword and vows to find the blade. We'll go together, Elan. I'll go with you too. You'll have to be with us in spirit, Cal. Hmm. It's too dangerous for one as young as you. I'm not too young. You don't want me because I can't see. Oh, he's blind, you damn. Because you're bald, gratingly annoying. <laughs> Why would you put a blind person in like a talks in that tone of slave voice camp? You're trying to mimic someone to sound really I can't see whiny. what they're doing. <laughs> Show them how it's done, Robin. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, Orin and his girlfriend ditch the little turd and make off for... I don't know where exactly. I guess they just figured that the way out of the caves that their people have lived in for generations has to be somewhere. But they don't get too far. All right, so they give the slaves dangerous laser drills that could take out a guard in mm. one hit and give the guards whips. Whips, yeah, this what? This isn't an SM bar. Why don't you give them some guns? <laughs> Watch out for the crystal! Eh, point taken. Oh, Orin and his girlfriend get captured trying to escape, where they learn that the god who they've <laughs> been worshipping all their lives turns out to be. Some guy. <laughs> yeah, who was it? Who was really, it? Was this supposed to be in any way surprising? Christ, we're just starting this movie and the dramatic reveal is already wasted. This <laughs> isn't much of a twist. Anyway, it's not really that big an impact if you don't get to know the characters. We've mm. barely even grown accustomed to Orin or to what's her face. But I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like she's gonna die in the next five minutes. Try one. What? No. Did you just kill well, off the main character like that? Wasn't she? You don't even know the half of it. What was the point of her? I'll find a Orin manages to escape Zygon's clutches into a collapsed cavern. He <laughs> digs his way out onto the surface world, but it's not long before he runs into more danger. Oh. Ooh. What the fuck is that? What's that? Hell if I know. It looks like it crawled out of the asshole of H.R. Geiger's nightmare. Ooh. No, it's like, this looks like it crawled out of the asshole. It's like from the artificial intelligence movie. Where the robots are being destroyed. <laughs> That's just too bad. Because we're going to take them anyway. It's the eyes, isn't it? The eyes. What's up with the eyes? Oof. When I kill you, brother, <laughs> Roger I <can't>. <laughs> So, my new nightmares for the week take Orin prisoner and decide on who gets what body part of Orin's. Ooh, I'll take the brain! Oh wait, no, that won't fill me up enough. But one of the ungodly monstrosities gets a little too curious with Orin's sword and winds up cleaving one of the others in half. Orin manages to trick the last of the remaining monsters into letting him go and, yeah, big deal tricking things that couldn't figure their way out of a Chinese finger trap. <laughs> oh. You've got exactly 10 seconds to tell me what you're doing in this swamp. Oh, hi, Han Solo. <laughs> hi. What are you talking about? I was thinking that. No, oh, no. wait a minute. A young kid on a distant backwater world finds a magic sword and under the instruction of a wise old man, finds a rogue uh. smuggler to help him defeat a dark overlord. <laughs> this is Star Wars! Is that guy a smuggler? Yeah, he's a smuggler. This, this is Star, Star Wars. Wars! Yeah, I'm getting yeah, Star yeah, Wars vibe from right. this movie. Star Chaser even goes beyond lifting plot elements oh and characters God. and rips off iconic shots from the original trilogy. Jesus. I can't believe it. This is shameful. This is insulting. This is downright unforgivable. Oh, you want to know what the best part is? What? Oh, what? The same people who distributed this in theaters also distributed the Garbage Pail Kids movie. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. What? I got crusty elbows. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what? Oh. what in the hell are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Some bad guys, That's our hero, probably. ladies and gentlemen. Guy who trips over himself when slightly tapped from behind. <laughs> this, oh god, it feels disgusting reviewing anything by those people. Yeah. I 
This Han Solo wannabe is named mm. Dag, who tells Orin that the crystals Dag he's been Nabbit. mining for all his life are commonly thought to be mined by robots. But the scene is interrupted by a swamp monster that grabs Dag. Oh, thank God, maybe kill him. Ew. <laughs> Oh, Wait a minute. how come the Ow. sword works now, but not when he tried to stab Dag? Maybe well, it works critic, on bad the guys. Never really or... explains why the sword works sometimes yeah. and not other times, and several fan theories have floated around to this day. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe it detects evil this or movie bad. Has or... Fans? Yeah. <laughs> Why? What? Fact, just recently, it's been announced that plans are being made for a live-action remake. Get the fuck out of there! It was called Star Wars. <laughs> Oh, and if this movie hasn't pushed all your rage buttons by now, it also has its own version of Navi from Legend of Zelda. Oh, oh fuck. fancy oh. fucking that. <laughs> hey, listen. To oh, I fucking hate that thing. Uh, I just wanted... Is he fondling the it's... little light bulbs of junk? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> well, we don't linger on the possible uh, that's, station that's for long messed as the up. patrol comes along and starts attacking the two, and they retreat back to Dag's ship. I wish you'd stop calling me your computer, oh, Dag. It's God. so impersonal. After all, your body's just a machine made of flesh and blood. How would you like it if I went around calling you Meat Brain? Oh, hi, C-3PO. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, it's not even a robot. Okay, so what do you call an AI that speaks in a prissy, whiny, effeminate voice and is largely used for comic relief? Son of a bitch, it is C-3PO. <laughs> yes. Ow! I told you it wouldn't uh, work. By the Fuck. way, does Dag ever finish that cigar? Yeah, he's had it forever. People just not want to smoke things in space. Mm. Which, that's unlikely because they came up with a screenplay, didn't they? <laughs> Maybe it's the future. Maybe it's an okay, unlimited so cigar where it never runs Dag out. deciding to attack a nearby base because, well, the movie has to find a way to shoehorn more lifted shots <laughs> from Star Wars that way. Also, AT-AT's much. Oh, come Dag on. manages to steal this some of the mine crystals from a nearby Star transport Wars. ship, but Zygon captures Dag before they can make off. But of course, Orin, not being the sharpest tool in the shed, demands that the ship be lowered so he can confront Zygon head on. Oh. You! Took his lightsaber. <laughs> oh, ow, my sword! <laughs> you know, as hopelessly dumb and naive Orin is, at least he's incredibly weak and awkward. Get out! Who the hell ordered this drill? Yes, let's pointlessly carry this heavy robot that is in no way going to help us escape and will in fact only hinder our chances of making it safely aboard. God, I'm a tactical genius! <laughs> but of course, this movie isn't set in any kind of logical universe, so they in fact make it... Are you expecting anything off, logical? Leaving Zygon to mutter one of the strangest lines in the movie. What? It is him. The Kaka. The ka what? The Kaka? The Kaka? What is returned? The Kaka. The Kaka? The Kaka's return. This movie's full of Kaka. The end of the movie is full of Kaka. Well, yeah. critic, if you thought that was strange, get a load of Dag trying to reconfigure that Fembot he picked up from earlier. Where the hell are the personality circuits on these G2 Fembots? They're in their posterior. No. You wouldn't dare. Oh He's my god, you can't do oh, he's that. Going there. He's... See that look on his face? That's the look of a man. No, you can't. You wouldn't dare. No, robots have <laughs> rights to it. <laughs> Come on. Flashback there for a moment. Oh Jesus. Help! 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 Oh, it just gets better and better. Give it a few more seconds, and we'll have a cinema snob review. Fuck it out. This is. Why fucked do you up. risk your life stealing crystals? And how the hell did this movie only get a PG rating? Wait for it. That should do it. Ah. That's more like it. Oh my god. No one ever told you that you're awfully cute for a Oh my fucking god. That seals it. You went from Star Wars to Star Wars in a matter of seconds. Well, if there's one thing we can all learn from Star Chaser is that the way to a world. Nothing like watching robot porn. Where the hell did this scene come from? Fuck Who thought hell. it was a bright idea to Who have Dag put this throw up in a this movie? Butt. Mm. A fem butt, if you will. Didn't anyone think of the fact that there's a children's audience that will most likely yeah. see this? Probably, because they're the only ones that would find this remotely funny! No wonder they ripped off Star Wars! The original <laughs> ideas in this are just... No! <laughs> you will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. 
So after the two blast off into a Jackson Pollock painting, Orin and Dag part ways, with oh, Dag meeting up with the film's version of Jabba the Hutt to <laughs> hawk the crystals he stole. Oh, Dag, one of my nosy men thought he saw you with a young boy this evening. My girls do not excite you anymore. <laughs> Wow. You know, that is exactly what this family-friendly space adventure needed. Mm. Pedophilia jokes! <laughs> yeah, well, this Adam movie is just fucked way. up. Meanwhile, Orin happens upon a fortune teller who gives him advice on where to find the missing blade to his sword. Can you tell me where I'll find the blade? Such is not an easy task. Hey, genius, you've been using the sword all throughout the movie. Mm. The blade's invisible. <laughs> you've already found it. You might as well be trying to find the biggest douche in the universe. <laughs> Case closed. Dag and Orin meet back up, but it's not long before Zygon's men are after them again. Zygon. Prompting Dag and the Femba to enact the oldest and dumbest trick in the book. The sexy lady diversion. Of, Zion. of course, this Absolutely oldest like tactic Matrix. is so stupid that it works perfectly. Seriously, the only way this could have been worse is if he fell for the carrot under the box trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, wait a minute. How the hell did that second guy get yeah. down? Nothing wait, touches what? him. <laughs> See, Dag hits one of them with Maybe. the butt of his gun, and the other guy just falls yeah? over like he's wounded. <laughs> I'm not dead. You'll be stone dead in a moment. <laughs> Luckily, Dag and Orin managed to elude Zygon's men, and they escape. So we bamf to another planet, I think. Oh, Jesus. Could be the same planet with the mine world, or the same planet as that desert town. Establishing shot? What's that? But in any case, Zygon's men managed to catch up with Dag and Orin and shoot their ship down. No, oh, Zygon's finally. men take Dag's unconscious body in, but are unable to find Orin, who has been flung from the ship during the crash and landed torso first in a tree. <laughs> oh good, does this mean he suffered catastrophic injury and died? Oh, the credits! Oh, please let it end here. Oh boy. Oh hi, Baba Fat. <laughs> oh hi, Princess Leia. Yeah, oh, you knew boy. she was coming. Maybe not technically a princess, but daughter of some sort of rich person in charge. Yeah, princess. Let me guess, they so fall princess in love. So Princess Leia takes Orin away to her castle because the plot demands it. Mm. And Orin wakes up in her bedroom wearing the most embarrassing blue midriff vest. Mm, Are undershirts extinct in this universe? Man. How come in 80 sci-fi men always want to wear even less than the women do? Elon? My name is Aviana. Who is Elon? A friend. From the mines. Yeah, just a friend. And totally not <laughs> just my a love friend. interest who died just a few days ago. <laughs> yes, Seriously, wow, what an awesome. Is this movie going to force this romantic relationship on us? It's bad enough that the girl in the caves was uh, killed in the first 20 minutes, but yeah. now she's just cast aside for another? Wow. You said you had no idea how well. useless that character was, didn't I? <laughs> Orin and Leia decide that the best thing for them to do is head back to Orin's cavern planet. Who was your father? Why, Morbro, of course. Supreme governor of the Bordagon system. I'm getting sick and tired of never understanding. But Orin, never understanding is what you're best at. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dag is being held prisoner by Zygon, and I think you know where this is going. Try to imagine a needle, the thickness of a human hair, slowly thrust between your eyes. Ooh. <laughs> So it's been discovered that Orin's blade has been passed down from person to person, destroying the rule of tyrants for hundreds of years. Orin and Leia decide that the best thing for them to do is head back to Orin's cavern planet. I'm sorry, this is a restricted area. No one may enter without prior permission. Mizzo, from shoot the me! Wait, did you say shoot me? That doesn't sound pleasant. Maybe I should do something like an actual guard robot. God, I'm a poor model. I hope you know what you're doing. Let me try. He just said shoot him in front of the robot. The robot should have shot him. Yeah, Star Wars, just go with nah, it. Just, it. Just go with but it. But of course, breaking into Zygon's lair haphazardly has its disadvantages. They should have just called this movie the Star Wars cartoon. A robot? No. Dom, dom, dom. I am the robot. I have been putting the pieces back together for over a thousand years. He's more machine now than man. <laughs> So Orin is thrown into jail next to Dag. With the blade in Zygon's possession, nothing can stop him from taking over and enslaving the humans. <laughs> in fact, this blade is so important that Zygon just leaves it out in the open on a console board. Yeah. How much you want to bet that's going to bite him in the ass? Starfly!
Conqueror of man, folks. God damn, this is stupid. Jesus. So of course the twinkling dingleberry sneaks the hilt <laughs> out of the reach of Zyga. And Orin uses it to escape. <laughs> Guard, I have oh, something for you. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. I hope it is candy. <laughs> that is not candy. What's going on, water snake? So Orin and Dag manage to sneak aboard one of Zygon's ships as they leave to destroy humanity space fleet, I guess. Yeah, we're supposed to care about some fleet we've never even seen in this movie? Mm. Oh, and I mean literally never see. We never see a single spaceship of theirs or even the planet which they're protecting. Mm. My god, I'm so invested! <laughs> Luckily, the Fembot managed to fix the ship and rejoins Orin and Dag as they manage to overtake control of the flagship leading the attack. And with a simple push of a button, detonates all the missiles in the entire fleet, effectively destroying every ship. Oh, Christ, Jesus if a single button Christ. push to do that, I'd hate to see what would happen if a guy accidentally spilled his coffee in the control <laughs> Yeah! Orin and the gang managed to break back into Zygon space for, what, the third time now? But Zygon manages to ensnare Orin's ship in a tractor beam, leaving the Fenbot and Dag's ship to make the save and take their place in the beam. I'm not sure that's how tractor beams work, but if the filmmakers don't care, then why the fuck should I? <laughs> yeah. Ouch! Good suggestion! The flagship decimates all of the base's defenses, leaving Orin to face Zygon one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. But it looks like Leia decides to go after Orin anyways after seeing Zygon pursue after him. And gets her ass captured as the two were fighting like a complete dumbass. Of course. Give me the hill, Taka, or she will die like the other. Only okay, those who love he can use it. <laughs> and it has never worked for you. Why the fuck do you think it'll work for you now? True. It seems all hope is lost, but Nobby shows up again and tells Orin that he never needed the sword in the first place. Use the full sloop. <laughs> Come on. Never this is a fucking Star Wars cartoon. <laughs> Space balls. Why the fuck didn't he just tell him this way back at the beginning? The same reason the good witch didn't tell Dorothy about yeah. the shoes sending her back home. Some people are dicks. <laughs> With his newfound power, Orin cleaves through Zygon and leads his people to That's a Darth Maul the death right there. But with Chopped the entire mind world collapsing from the explosions above, Orin thinks fast and bullshitty by, get this, throwing the sword at the ceiling, which magically clears the way for the rest of the people to safely evacuate. And if that wasn't enough, Orin even cures the little bastard from before of his blindness. What? Because why the fuck not? What? I can see again. What? I can see. I can see. I can finally see that you're not wearing a shirt and that kind of creeps me out. We finally end this turn with Space Jesus here being offered by the old guy from way at the beginning to join him in being glowy and shit. No, like he turns him down in favor sake. of getting some tail. Not yet. I'd like to stretch my legs for a few decades. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? The choice is yours. Thank God it's over. Let me tell you, this was a dumb, dumb movie. Yep. Dumb. And all the plot Animation was quite good, to be honest. That they stole I like Star that. Wars, it's just lazy. Lazy. Well, the animation can be good at yeah, time. there we go. Animation's the good. It's just a complete mess of half-baked ideas. It's kind of good. I like the animation. And it's just frustratingly blatant how much they're ripping off Star Wars. Yeah. I'm sorry, it really gets in the way. Just call it fucking but Star I Wars cartoon. I stood up to your movie and I got through it. What do you think of them apples, bitch? <laughs> I'll admit, you fared better than I expected. Can't wait to see how you'll respond with my next offering. Next offering? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Transformers? What? Cool. Huh? <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. Space Wolves. Oh, Kaka. Kaka. Oh, fuck me. Oh, for the love of Jesus Christ, that is all oh, that is fucking holy. Why the fuck did I watch this? Um, yeah, um, Jesus Christ, have mercy. 
that was absolutely god awful terrible but to be honest uh the animation was I, I like the animation. Uh, i got to give it a point for that. We're going to give it some a little bit of mercy. Let's show some compassion in for this movie. Uh, if you can call it a movie. Um, no, the animation was good. Uh, props for them doing the animation. I like that sort of animation style. And it's it's not fast paced. It's a bit slow. Sort of like oop, 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 oop. Sort of style, you know. I kind of like that sort of um, animation style. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty good. Um, the animation is all I can get it, give it credit for. As for the story, plot, and everything else, absolutely fucking not. The thing is an abomination. Just call it a fucking Star Wars cartoon or something like that. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was definitely a, a rip-off of Star Wars. Or, or it was trying to copy and paste Star Wars. But everything does these days, you know. Everything always tries to copy Star Wars or Star Trek. Um, because they're the two sort of main sort of, you know, space sci-fi things. Um, but, uh, yeah. Damn. Jesus, have mercy. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, thankfully. I mean, it was a stupid story, but I've seen worse. <laughs> we, we, we've we gone through worse. I think we all can agree on that, that there are worse fish in the sea than this. <laughs> there are much more worse movies than this thing. Um, so thankfully, this was a fucking blessing in disguise, because there are much worse waiting for me, I'm guessing. I bet there is a really terrible movie just waiting to be watched right about now. And I don't know when it's going to pop up. It's going to be very, very scary. Um, but uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below. Make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>